All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Stone Block Two. Today we're gonna get started off with upgrading our Matok here. Since it's unbreakable, we don't have easy access to Cobalt. I went ahead and used a couple of pieces we got from loot boxes to uh, upgrade this. I already upgraded the pickaxe, so it just makes it a little bit faster. Uh, the one thing I want to do today is I want to get Crate of Flight. I want to get Angel Ring. Since we have grip power and we're not really using it right now. Uh, and I, I really do like the flight. But the first thing you have to do is we have to get a lasso. So we need some string. Some gold nuggets. But we also need a vanilla crafting table. Just use jungle. There we go. Because these actually take, I think, like 8 XP, 6 or 8. It might be less than that. About 8 XP to make. So you notice we got 20 levels. If I make one, we go down to 12. We actually need two. The fun part is going to be catching a squid. Because I had a hard time yesterday getting a, getting squid to spawn to get the uh, gas that we used in the mob farm. Um, we also need, uh, we need bait. Use some squid bait. Make it a little easier. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that anymore. So I've been running uh, withers. We are going to kill a wither today. We have 275 skulls. Mm, not too bad. I did run blaze for a little bit as well. I got 505 blaze rods. We probably won't ever use more than that. We have been getting trophies from our mod farm. We got a zombie, a spider, a skeleton, and a witch. Which isn't very nice. She witches you. <laughs> it says get witch in the corner. That's funny. Alright, so the first thing we need to do to get this angel ring is it requires... This requires a skid, uh, squid ring. But to get a squid ring, we need a chicken ring. So we need to catch a chicken and a golden lasso. Which, I had to clean out all the mobs because they were kind of getting out of hand here. But I did leave a chicken... It's some... Oh, there it is. He's just moseying around. Come here, chicken. Get in the lasso. Thank you. Alright, I don't think we need a... I think we can just use our wireless system here to make this. So, a chicken ring. And we just put that in there. Yeah, now we got a chicken ring. This thing doesn't do much, but it does keep you from falling, I think. If you hold spacebar, yeah. So we just jump, hold spacebar, we just kind of glide down like chickens do. And that meter at the bottom is pretty much your built up energy. So once that goes away, you'll just fall like a brick like normal. Alright, so the next thing it wants with that is we need to get a squid. Which is going to be some black dye, ender pearl, but we need the, the squid. So down here, whoop, get the glide. Glide all the way down. And we'll show you what happens when this runs out. Oh, yeah, so you just fall. <laughs> but down here yesterday, I made this, uh, just a little hole in the wall with a pool of water down at Y level 60. Yeah. I can just throw these two in here. And then I just made this tunnel. And we're just going to wait. So I'll see you when the squids are back. Or spawn. Alright guys, so I think we got a squid. A little yellow dot pop, popped up on the map there. Yeah. Now we got a squid. Another one spawned down there. I don't know if it's going to stay there. But we just wanted one. I just wanted to see if it make it faster. I actually didn't have to wait too long. It only took about two minutes. So that's not too bad. Um, actually, I probably should have stayed down there. That's all right. Because I think I just... I keep forgetting I have a wireless crafting terminal. So we want the squid one. Now, the squid one... It's kind of like a tease. It's like... You almost got flight. But not quite yet. See, I can fly up. But then it just runs out and you'll just fall. And you don't stay. So if I let go of this, this space bar, you just kind of fall. It's just kind of like a big bouncy pad. 
We do need to get a curse lasso, so we need uh, drops of evil that we get from wither skeletons. And you just combine this with a lasso, you get a curse lasso. And now setting, now we uh, need to get a gas. So luckily, we have a gas form. So I'm gonna turn this on. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's get an imprisonment tool. We'll just make this easier. So mob imprisonment tool. We'll have to make one. And let's spawn gas. Oh wow, you can hear him way up here, really. I like to run and jump everywhere, I'm pretty sure some of y'all have noticed, so it's the squid ring is kind of annoying to me. Oh my goodness. Now let's see if we can catch one fast enough. Oh, sweet. We got one. Alright, so we need to get this guy down to two hearts, I believe. Uh, so we're just going to punch him. And hopefully he doesn't break anything. Oh, or we kill him with his own blast. I'm literally just standing right here and spamming right click and hoping I grab him before they, the mob crusher kills him. You know what, why don't we do this? And just turn that back on. Got him. Oh, something broke. Oh no, that was just a, a loot box. So I dropped two, some bones and some pork chops. Thanks. All right, so now we should have everything. Oh, we need a bat. That's right. Skip the step. All right, so let me go to the mining dimension, uh, which we have. I mean, it does make this little travel a little easier. So I'm just going to run up here to the mining dimension. Probably yell at the screen for a while to find a bat. Because I want one. And they're never going to spawn. Ooh, piggy. Bacon. Alright, so let me get up there. We'll be right back. You know what, guys? That is the longest hike to get up here. That takes forever. I need to set up portals. Just to come up here and then go to the, the uh, end dimension. That's not really the end but it's the end. All right, let's see if we can't find a bat. Now that we want one, we probably won't find one. Let's see, there's some caves. I think there's caves here. Oh. That's a zombert. <laughs> Gotta listen very closely for the bats. And as I suspected, they're not gonna be around because I have a lasso in my hand and it knows I want a freaking bat. That is always luck. No one make any sudden movements. Get up. Oh, I think I just got him. Yay! All right, we got him. <laughs> that took a while. I was I kept looking around, and uh, sadly, the only reason why I even saw that one is because the the little yellow dot on the mini map was like moving around like a crate. There's one. Yeah, you see how that yellow dot? Ouch! Stop it! Oh my god! Stop it, squid thingy! It's impossible just to do a regular jump. Out there on the mini map, it's in the corner, like we're heading straight to it. It's like moving around some crazy circles. That's the only way I knew that was a bat. Alright. Alright, guys, we're back in our base with our squid ring. Now, let's upgrade this to a regular ring, shall we? I want to use the one with the little bat wings. Yeah, so curse lasso. 
and our golden lasso. Now we got our angel rings. Let's see how snazzy we look. Oh, look at the bats. And we can fly. So it's creative flight. Oh my goodness, that's too close. Creative flight. Uh, you can also, you don't have to have, oh, you don't have to have this in your inventory. You can, should be able just to put it on any bobble slot. And it still work. Yeah. So there is one more sad thing. We lost our magnet. I mean, we can still use it. Uh, we had this one. And then these stop dropping. It says disabled due to bugs. So if I try to come over here and turn it on, it just says item disabled. But this one we had on uh, when the mod pack updated. And now I can't seem to turn it off because uh, it's disabled. So it's like a permanent magnet. Which, I mean, I guess will work fine, but since it's disabled, I don't know what's wrong with it. So, we're just going to make... We're going to look and see what other magnets they got. So, we got this one from Actual Editions. We can do... We're actually not set up for Actual Editions. Uh, we could set something up real quick. It's not that hard to make. So, to make these, you need a Atomic Reconstructor, which is pretty cheap. Any one of these. We got like a million black quartz. So I'm just going to make a bunch of these blocks because we'll use them. Uh, atomic Reconstructor. And then we need a point to give it power. You need a redstone torch to toggle it. And then we can use a uh, pressure plate. Uh, so we'll need. I'm out of oak wood. Guys, I'm like out of almost all wood, which is bad. Not wolk. Let's use jungle. And we'll make a pressure plate. I haven't played with this mod in a while. I used it when it first came out. And then I just kind of stopped using it. It's a really good mod, though. I don't want this on farm power, so I'll have to set it to fatal power. So, the reason why we need this redstone torch, as you see, it just constantly pulses. That's because it says redstone mode deactivated. Click it with a torch, it sets it to pulse. So now, it will only go when it gets a redstone signal. So, iron and redstone. We'll just do blocks, because it's easier. Or just make a whole bunch, because why not? I mean, we got plenty of everything. So you pretty much just come over here. As long as this has power, it will transform it. Like so. So now we should have everything we need. Let me break this down. Now we got a bunch of this stuff. There are chickens we can get into that just makes this stuff for us, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, the only thing we'd have to worry about whenever we get into it is uh, the empowered versions. Alright, let's try this ring out. We should have everything. Yeah, flux crystal. So this thing holds 200,000 power. Our flux network is set to charge anything in our inventory. So let's see. Oh, that's not too bad either. Oh, let me take this. Let's put this ring up real quick. We'll set it right there so it's easier to get out. So it lets you throw stuff on the ground, just like the other one. Takes a couple seconds, and you can toggle it on and off. That's kind of what we want. I'd rather be able to toggle it than uh, not be able to. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to kill a wither. So we need something that's witherproof. This reinforced obsidian is pretty easy to make. Now that we have like a million of that. Oh, we need dark steel. We don't have dark steel. What's the... Well, this is one I was... Reinforced obsidian. So, we'll just make as much as we can. This should be enough. And right, we need to make an area downstairs uh, where we're going to kill this guy. We'll just stick it right here. This is going to be temporary. 
The more I come down here, the more I don't like how even these farms are set up, so I'll probably move them. Definitely off camera, though. Yo, you guys don't have to sit through that. So to make this completely proof where the wither doesn't blow up everything, we need to do all the corners and all the edges. So like if we want it to be a three by three, I just be throw out, you couldn't just leave that or it'll start blowing holes in the wall. So we want it three by three, so there's one wall. And we got the back wall and then this, but we also need this corner pillar done. These blocks are very loud. Just like that. Oh man. <sighs> Try to play some rock because they are a pain to put back. I also need down. Don't forget down. You'll have a big hole in your world. And then the front here. And then we're just going to fill all this in. Fill the roof in. And I'm out of blocks. Alright, they're not that expensive to make. Just some iron bars and some obsidian. This is the best early game stuff you can get to weather through something. Alright, we need to clear out the front here. And we just need a door and we can use this reinforced glass. Which we need the dirty glass, which is glass and soul sand. Uh, we can do that. Oh, let's get our grid first, though. Yeah, we only need two pieces, technically. Oh yeah, and my stuff doesn't actually see it. Um, so let's make the wither. We got the wither skeleton skulls. Got plenty of those. Need some soul sand. Got plenty of that. All right. So let's make this guy. Put this back real quick so it doesn't destroy our base. Uh, yeah. Let's clean out our inventory. We don't need that. Oh, we killed him. Oh, we made it. We made it. We, all, we almost died. There was a couple close calls. But how about we not do that with this sword ever again? Sounds like a plan. It is nowhere close to being leveled up either. We'll definitely have to figure out a better weapon. But we got our first wither. Alright guys, so now that we killed the wither, I think I'm going to waste this pearl and do, just finish out a, a quest line, and we're just going to do the infinite capacity. Wait, that makes 64? That, that's way too many. I didn't even know you could do this, that's cool. Alright, so I think the only thing we have to do left is the crafting... Where's it at? Right here. What did we get? Speed upgrades. Sad. The storages for uh, ME, or A2. We finished this line. 
Actually, let's see what a black hole unit takes. Black. Oh, that is very easy. Do you need two eyes vendors? Black hole unit. All right, what do we get? Another ME drive. All right, let's see what the black hole tank takes. The tank is pretty much like the other one, but with buckets, which we can do down here. There we go. I have plenty of buckets from loot bags or loot boxes. Oh, we need another uh, machine case. So there's another quest. Let's see what we get. I'll take that. Put lava in that or something. All right, so what else do we need? We just need that. So we need the pink slime. These two crates, which we can actually do the medium storage crate now because we hooked up the... Uh, um, oh, I don't know, forgot the name. Need void crystals. I think that's coal. Oh, boy. From actual editions. Oh, my goodness. What is the name of that block? Atomic Reconstructor. So we just need, we'll just take a whole stack and we just throw it on there. All right. And now we should be able to get the crate, take these apart. Uh, storage crate. We need a tier two. What does a tier three need? Yeah, see this needs empowerment. Uh, which I guess we could technically make. Um, can we make the battery? We'll just make a bunch of these. We'll use them periodically throughout this mod. Oops. Alright, so we're going to need an empowerer. So that's surrounded by those. I did not make 25 earlier, did I? That just seems wrong. A single battery. A double battery. Uh, we do need a display stand, which is going to need quartz. And these are chisel quartz. Okay. I think we might not have enough quartz. Oh, we, yeah, we, we got, we got enough. Okay. Was it 32 blocks? Something. Huh? 30 blocks. Uh, we need our chisel. And we can just split these in half. That should be, imagine that'd be enough. I was chisel quartz block. There we go. I right, should just be able to take these and throw them on here, like that, and that. Perfect. And then we should have everything for the empower. So we need one for the empower. Then we need one for each side. So we need a total of five. Oh, perfect. Oh, I made a bunch of those earlier. What was it missing? I thought we did the double battery. We did. All right, so what we do need are points. We're gonna need four of these. And then we got one up there. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda set this up for like right here, just for now. 
So we're going to put the empower here. And then it's two blocks out. So one, two, there. One, two, there. One, two, there. One, oh, not there. One, two, there. Now let's get our tier three storage crate. And this needs flint, coal, black dye, any black dye, and stone. All right, guys. So I got some charcoal. We set it down. There it goes. Now it should just work. <laughs> These textures are so close together, it's hard to tell compared to the old, the old textures. Like I am using the, uh, the test texture pack that Mojang released. I like a lot of the textures in it. And one day soon, hopefully this will be done. There we go. You need an open hand to take it off. And then we're just going to go through and do this three more times. All right, so I'll come back once we get all of the blocks together. All right, guys, this is our last one. And then we'll have four. We can upgrade this barrel one more time. So that will complete this line of quest. And then I think all we have left uh, is to go check our pink slime and then we'll just have the AE2 stuff. <sighs> Great. I hate whenever you hit T, it just takes you, it like shows you where something is. All right, a large crate. This thing is massive, three pages of <laughs> this size. That's crazy. It's like three diamond chests in one. More than three diamond chests. All right, so now what we need to do, we got this over here. I'm gonna steal one of these flux points over here because we're done with this. There we go. We're just gonna, this should already be set. So we throw it there. We need four iron ingots, two iron ingots. I love how two brought me to iron, that works. So we're gonna put two in there. And then we need a bucket. And we're just going to put this in here. One, two. There we go. And then two more. All right, so now we should be able to make our uh, black hole controller. Uh, we, I think we need an ender chest. Yeah, we're going to need an ender chest. So we'll need another eye of ender. You know, I'm just going to make a stack so we don't have to worry about keep making those every time. A regular vanilla ender chest. And there's our controller. All right, so let's claim these rewards. I think we got four. Yeah, so our black hole. Another spawner changer. A garden cloche. And chance cubes. That sounds like a lot of, a lot of fun stuff. Oh, I did make uh, this thing. I don't know why I made it, because we technically don't need it in this mod pack. Oh, two more ender chest. All right, guys, I think that's all the time we have for today. We did get a lot of stuff done. We got our creative flight. We killed the wither. We got our new magnet, since they disabled our other one. Set up some basic actual additions. So yeah, we did it. We did quite a bit today in today's episode. Uh, next episode, I think, though, we're going to get started on some cows and some chickens. Just to kind of get started on those. Uh, and then probably design the base a little bit. It needs a little love. But let's look at our bat wings. Look at that. Oh, perfect. All right, guys. If y'all liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if y'all like this kind of flight or any other magnet rings you guys might like better. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. Till next time. Take it easy.